Well, after you understand the customer problem and how they're solving it today and who they are, now you almost have permission to go back and both say, well, let me make sure I understand that you have this kind of problem and you have, you're solving it this way. What if you had a solution that could do this? And what you're looking for is customers to say, wow, if, if you could do that, that would be great. Think about it. You've not demoed your product, you've not shown them slides, but you've learned a ton and now they're asking you to actually tell them. You're, they're actually giving you permission to say, tell me more. And then you could say as well, we've been thinking about solving the problem like this. Still not about details yet about products or demos. What do you think? And they go, wow, that would be really interesting. Do you, have you actually built something? And this is where you could say is, well, you know, we're kind of working on a wireframe of the product. Do you mind if I kind of show you that? And I'd love to get your feedback. And that's when you finally get to talk about your product. But you've gotten permission to do it because they're interested in engaging with you on solving a problem or a need they have rather than them thinking that you're trying to sell them something. Hi, Bernardo. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me today. Oh, yeah, no problem, Dan, anytime. So we did a lot of research talking with teachers, and we learned that when preparing lessons, teachers really like to work with their peers, learn best practices. Uh, you're strapped for time, so you need a quick way to build lessons. And you also like to bring in a lot of external media. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, that's me. I do that all the time. You're really going to love this. So we've built the perfect solution for you. OK, great. Would you mind trying it and, and telling me what yeah, you think? Yeah, sure. I'm excited. Um, I think this is great then. I mean, it looks beautiful I and mean, it's really nice, but um, I think it doesn't really adjust with what I'm using already. It doesn't export the files that I need. Um, the kids are not really in the picture and the UA is a little bit complicated. So I'm afraid like this is not for me after all. So you mean you wouldn't use this? No. Yeah. I wish you had come before when you were just like pitching the yes, because that is, I think, really important. And I could have told you that. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. We spent five months building this. Um, whole yeah, I mean, I've seen stuff like this, but I really need integration. Sorry. Okay, thanks. Hi, Bernardo. Thanks Hi, for man. taking time today to talk to me. Oh, yeah, no problem. I know you're busy with, with all your classes. So we've been talking to a lot of teachers, in particular about lesson creation. And we've learned that, one, teachers like to collaborate with, with uh, their peers and learn best practices. Two, you're strapped for time, so need something to, to build lessons quickly. And three, use a lot of external resources that you, that you bring in. Yeah, that, that's me. I do it all the time. Okay, so I've, I've built a prototype to try to address this problem and help you build lessons faster. Can I go through it with you? Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, this is the part where you uh, start your lesson. You're able to bring media in and also see what other teachers are doing. So what do you think? Is there anything you would change with it? I think it's great. All these ideas are awesome. Uh, something that I would like is maybe if kids could give some feedback about the class, I think with that, it would be even better. Great. Can I come back next week and, and show you the next version of this? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me know. Great. Thanks. Thank you.